Hello everyone, today we are going to understand data driven testing in Tosca. This is going to include concepts like template, test case, design, instantiation and all these concepts are going to be covered as part of this video. My name is Abhishek and let's get started. So basically data driven testing as same in all the different automation tools or manual tools or software testing concept is the test cases which we are going to write is going to be derived basically from the data input what we are sending. Okay. So let's first understand the scenario. I'm, I'm just taking a basic scenario because we are trying to understand the concept first. Okay. So let's say this particular, this is a automation mock website, which we can use for practice. So let's say this particular website is there. Okay. Now let's say I have five different username and password. Other than that, the flow is going to be exactly the same. Okay. So in case uh, of these type of scenarios, we have to create five different test cases, right? So instead of doing that, since data is driving the whole flow, we can follow approach of data driven testing. And this could be particularly helpful when most of the things are derived by data. Like let's say I'm talking only about five username and password logins. Okay, let's say that it gets increased to 50, 100. So it would be very easy to manage with the data driven approach. Okay, now let's get, get into the Tosca. Okay, here I'll go to modules. I've just taken a small uh, page so that we can basically first understand the base concept. I have created a folder data driven testing demo. I'll click on application. I'll quickly scan that application. And what we are going to do is we are going to pass. Initially, we are going to pass three different username and passwords just to understand the concept first. And then that could be increased further to n number of data by which you want to drive your test cases. Okay, so I'll just take username and password. Okay, both I can see that it is unique. I'll just write here data driven. Okay, and I'll save my module. So that was the first part. And I'll create a test case. I'll go to my test cases section. I'll create a test case here. And I will just write data driven here as well. Data driven. And I'll write click. Like I'll right click, I'll search and add test step and here I'll copy the module what we have created. Okay. Now, first thing was to create a test case. Here I've written step by step. So create your module, create your test case without values. Why I've mentioned without values? Because values are going to be fetched from the test case design. Okay. So this was the first part to create your test script. <coughs> now I have to, I have to first create the template. So there are step by step which we need to understand for following data driven just follow along. So I'll click on convert to template. That is the first step I need to do. Okay. Now the moment test template is created, I can validate that by using this particular icon, which is going to appear like T. Okay. So my template is created. Okay. Now the second part is I'll go to my test case design and uh, let me maximize this. So here first thing is to create a test sheet. So I'll right click and here I'll get the option create test sheet. So I'll click on this. Okay. And we can write data driven demo. Okay. Now in case of test case design, you have majorly two particular uh, things which we need to understand. One is called instances and one is called attributes. Now what is instances? These are the different cases which you are going to which you are going to use in your test case. Okay, that could be the number of test cases that could be the different values which you want to input. So basically it revolves around the values and the number of uh, instances you want to create. So uh, once I'll create this, it will be pretty clear. So first thing is we, we are going to create instances. So since there were three test cases, let me move this here. I'll right click and here I'll be able to see the option called I instance. Okay. Since I want to work with three different test cases, I'll create three different instances here. Okay, so this is at the parent level. Okay, and let me rename these two like test case one, test case two, test case three. Okay, now the moment these are created, I'll click on this arrow, and here you'll be able to see instances, and inside this, you'll be able to see all the three which we have created. Okay, now what are attributes? Attributes is something on the 
particular attribute where you want to create the value so this is one attribute username and password is one attribute okay so what i want to do is i want to create the attribute so i'll right click here and here i'll be able to see this option called create attribute with a small circle option okay so i'll click on create attribute and here i want to say username okay and i'll create one more attribute which is called password so i'll create password okay now I want to know what value to be passed in username and password. You can enter something here as well directly, but it's good to use instances in this. So I'll show you how. So you go to the attribute, you right click, and here you'll get the option create instance. Okay. Let's say I want to work with three different usernames, right? So what I'll do is I can work with one as well, but let's say I want to work with three. So I'll again go to this, uh, I'll create instance, and I can create instance from here as well. Okay. So let's rename these things to UN1 and I'll copy this. I'll put username 2 and I'll create another instance username 3. Okay. Now, same thing I'm going to perform for password. Quickly, I'll create three instances. Okay. So let's say PWD1. pwd2 and pwd3 okay so now our test case design is created for our scenario now there are few other things in this like for example if i want to create uh, something uh, some attribute which is not going to be actually business relevant so that means these these this particular data is not going to be used so you can create some attributes for documentation purpose as well so if you click on this attribute like you have created the attribute now you click on this particular arrow on the right hand side and here you will find this option business relevance okay so if let's say i give it to no okay then i will get this cross option here and here you can write like uh, probably uh, resource one resource two so these are going to be just used for documentation purpose and let's say sprint three something like that all these different kind of scenarios so this is not going to be used in your execution it's just for documentation purpose okay now two things we have covered template creation and test case design creation okay so here if you'll see in the steps change your test case to template navigate to tcd section create a test sheet create instances create attributes i've mentioned everything here okay now this next task is for us to make a connection between test cases or the template and test case design so that the template understands where I want to fetch from the data from. Okay. So in order to make this connection, what we need to do is we need to drag and drop the test sheet which we want to work with and drag and drop it to the template on which we want to connect it to. Okay. So I'll drag and drop. The moment I do that, my connection has established. Now how we can validate that has it actually been done? So in the template, I'll if I'll right click, I'll get the option jump to schema definition. So it's a good idea to always validate if it has done the right connection. So the moment I'll do this, it is going to navigate back to the test sheet on which it is connected. So this is cool here. Now, uh, here, uh, since I have the password thing, it is automatically detecting and it is putting asterisk just to put the encryption. But just for understanding purpose, I'll change this to string and I'll remove this input as of now so that uh, we'll be able to understand the value here so okay my bad i need to select input and then i'll get the option to put string okay i am i've just changed this so that we'll once we drag and drop the value from tcd it is not going to be masked and we'll be able to see the exact syntax here okay now template is created tcd is created everything is done uh if i'll run this is it going to populate the values no because we have to uh, we have to tell from where which particular attribute you have to fetch the value. Okay, so little bit of more configuration is required. So I'll just float this here so that we are able to see and I'll drag and drop on this side. So here you see username is there. I can uh, one one more thing we need to do. So here when we have created the test case, we have to add the values, right? So since I've created the instances, I'll be able to see in the drop down what values to be selected. So let's say I want to select UN1 here 
I want to select UN3, whatever you want to select, whatever instances you have uh, mentioned that is going to get populated here and you can decide accordingly. Okay, mix and match or you, you, you can use the same value again as well. Okay, let's say password PWD1, PWD2, PWD3. Okay, once I have filled in these values, I am just going to click on save once. Okay, now I am good here. Now what I need to do is I need to drag and drop my attribute okay so username I am just going to drag this and drop this in username section okay the moment it is done see it is using this particular syntax XL and then brackets username okay so since the connection was done with template and TCD you could have manually done this here as well but it's uh, like both the approaches are fine uh, in case it is a bigger test case design sheet then obviously drag and drop is a good idea and similarly I'll drag and drop the password here okay now I will just click on save and I'll close this okay now TCD is created values are populated uh, this is the formula for that now how will I be able to see the test cases or how will I be able to create the test cases using the data I will right click here and here you'll be getting the option first to check template so that is also uh, a good idea to first check in case we have missed something the moment we'll click on check template we'll be able to see no errors found in the template so we are good to proceed okay now the next thing is I'll right click on the template and here in three dot section I'll click on this and here you'll be able to see the option called create template instance what does it mean that whatever different type of instances have been created like the test case one two and three what we have created in TCD those are going to get created now so there are three different test cases which are going to get created the moment I'll click on this it will give me a pop-up like this do you want to start the instantiation now so I'll click on yes here and you will see this is getting populated here template instance of data driven testing okay now see we have created three test cases right in the TCD section that is getting populated here and if I'll open test case one see this is what we have passed UN1 and password PWD1 right so those values are going to get displayed in the different instances however we have passed it okay now executing is going to be similar like uh, if my page is open already and I want to enter this so I'll just right click and run this and it is going to populate first in the first scenario uh, UN1 PWD1 and then similarly how the data we have passed to so see all the three instances have, have happened quickly okay now let me go back to the test case design sheet okay so this was a basic explanation on how to work with all this thing okay now I'll dock this now let's say in this particular sheet I want to work with 50 different test cases with the same flow just the data is going to be different so what I can do is I can quickly create more instances as many number of instances I want okay so let's say uh, I'll write this as test case 4 Okay, TC4 and I'll populate something here so I'll just probably use UN1 and password as PWD2 and I'll put in anything now if you want to include more values you can add as many number of values you want in this it does not matter that if you have three or four you can populate only three or four or you can have less as well uh, as to whatever works with your project okay now since we have done a new test data addition here I'll click, click on save and I'll go to my test cases but here if you see you have only three test cases right do we need to do the uh, connection again or tell that how do we do that so since the template is built in a way that that it has already been connected we do not need to interact with template at all what we need to do is we need to go to the instance and we will right click and here we will get the option to reinstantiate the instance so what does it mean is if any changes have happened it is going to sync with that so see right now we are able to see only three test cases but the moment I click on this it is going to populate the fourth test case you can see that right here now this has populated with whatever data we have put in UN1 and PWT PWD2 so this is how we create and work with templates instances instantiation and reinstantiation okay so it's a good idea always whenever you change something you do this reinstantiation here okay now I have mentioned everything in the steps as well 
and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this in the description section so that you can follow this this was a ba very basic thing for username and password but usually when complex scenarios are coming in data is one of the most important factor which is driving our test case we can make it as long as many number of test cases we want here and we can work around it uh, do let me know if you have any questions in this and uh, if you do like my content do like share and subscribe and uh, have a great day thank you bye bye